Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is about back minus front, basically in the weld tool. Somebody questioned on the video I just did yesterday that I did this drawing, and they asked me how did Corel know which is back and which is front. So I'm going to go back minus front, and it took my notches out exactly what I wanted to do. Well, sometimes you don't know, but if you drew your circle first and then put your rectangles on top of it, the, the circle is going to be the back. Just like here, I filled it in with color. These are all the same, but there's nothing there, so this is on top. So this is in the back layer. Now we can take that, and I, I've got a hotkey to for Q, and it put it back in behind that layer. So if you just select them all, and you go to back minus front, it does that. It's and it's sometimes a little confusing. Here's a good example. I, I've made a video almost like this before. But the blue is in the back. The yellow is in the front. So if you select them both and go back minus front, what's going to happen? This is the back and this is the front. So back minus the front is going to give you that. Same thing. This time the blue is in the front. Back minus front. It's going to do just the opposite. It's going to take away, it's, 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 it's doing it what it actually says it's going to do. I'm going to take the back, and I'm going to take away the front. Back minus front. I hope that answered his question a little bit, and thank you for watching.